There we go. 100 million fire making XP. Oh so yeah, that was uh 100 million. Yeah, it's been a very long time since I actually made a YouTube video. Well, not very long time, but definitely feels like oh, it's been a while. Uh, since I made my 50 million video, and I think I made another video, but that was just a sort of off-topic ramble type video. But yeah, as you can see, uh, halfway done with fire making now, sort of, I guess. And yeah, it's really taken a while. Obviously the 50 million came first because, or came faster than this did because I didn't start at 0 mil, I started at uh, 30 mil most recently when I started back up this year. And another reason that's uh, contributed to slowing down my progress is that I haven't been playing very much. Um, and when I was getting uh, 50 million, I was playing something like 5 or 6 mil a week sometimes even 7 mil, and yeah, that was really good pace for me. Uh, definitely no qualms about that, I thought it was a lot for me actually. And yeah, over the past couple of weeks, I'd say even month, uh, my weeks have dropped a lot, and in fact I don't even know how much I'm doing because I haven't even checked Temple for the past uh, week or two, but yeah, definitely a lot lower than I was doing before. Uh, the reason for that is just probably... If I had to chalk it up to one reason, it's just, you know... I don't feel like playing as much as I did back then. Not to say that I am burnt or I'm tired of this, but just that other things have gotten my attention and that's why... I will often just log in every now and then. Um, Try to log in usually once per day, do at least one solo a day, and then see where that takes me, but sometimes I, I'll just be busy with something else and I won't log in for a day or two. I'm not really too concerned about uh, rushing this skill or anything else on this account or in this game. I'm pretty different from how I used to play my main back when I was... Uh, a lot of the time forcing myself to play, in a sense. And yeah, no, I just don't really care as much. I don't think I can really muster up the motivation to play that much. So I'm just here enjoying my time. And I think that's probably the best uh, the best way. But yeah, as for um, changes, I guess, because I need to always cover this stuff. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure about everything that's changed since the last video. Because um, it has been a while, and... Uh, I know some things have changed in-game. For example, I think the RC mini game is was definitely not out during 50 mil. So I could talk about that a little bit, but that's just, you know, more future plans rather than Winter Tot. But um, I think I did change my bag layout, so I'll show that in a second. And so I cut these gems. Um, but yeah, as you can see my invent, I have two dragon axes. I'm pretty sure I got my second dragon axe uh, before 50 mil, so I already mentioned that I put that in the, in the stash unit, but I did get a third one, and it's just going to be sitting in my invent until I need the space, pretty much. It's not uh, worth anything like the Tome of Fires, so... There's no point in just dropping it off to my alt, so just a little bit of sentimental value, I guess, for the time being. And uh, yeah, besides that, I don't think there's been too many um, like drops. I think I may have gotten another pet, or maybe that was... Uh, I think that happened actually just right after I made the video. Well, actually, it happened before I made the video, but I didn't notice until I checked screenshots afterwards. Something like that. But uh, I guess we can check the collection log just very quickly. So yeah, two phoenixes, I think. Yeah, I got the second phoenix uh, around 50 mil, something like that. And then the uh, 
Tome of Fire. I've gotten a bunch of these, uh, especially on my alt as well, since uh, my alt opens crates uh, alongside. Also, my alt got a... yeah, I guess I can mention that. My alt got a second phoenix, which is pretty surprising because it is not even 99 fire making. Uh, it just recently today hit 97. Um, but I think it's a little bit skewed because it does get a lot more points compared to fire making XP. I think it gets about 2,000, 3,000 points a game. And yeah, the fire making XP is very minimal. It just keeps the braziers lit in the beginning and then heals the pyromancer, which doesn't give any fire making XP. But uh, even so, it's cool to have two phoenixes pre 99. My alt's uh, pretty lucky on this. And I guess this one too because I've gotten my first phoenix pretty early. And I don't really, I said this before, I don't really care about pets that much. I'm not a pet hunter. And even if I never got any pet from 200 mil, I wouldn't care. I would definitely not uh, be upset about that. But yeah, one thing that is surprising is that I've gotten three dragon axes before getting three phoenixes, because this is about twice as rare. I think it's one in 5k. And the Phoenix is 1 in 3k. So I think I calculated that I was probably only going to get two Dragon Axes for my entirety of 200 mil fire making, but it seems like now I have three, and who knows, maybe I'll get even luckier and get fourth. Not that it uh, is beneficial to me in any way, but uh, I guess it's a cool little number thing to look at. And also, um, yeah, so I guess I'll just show the looting bag now. I think I reorganized this a little bit. I threw out some junk at the suggestion of some people. And I decided to just, yeah, keep it simple. A little bit simpler than I had it before. So I think I threw out most of the ores besides Runite and Gold Ore. Uh, so the Gold Ore is obviously for getting some easy smithing levels. Uh, right after winter tot. Hopefully this gets me 70, the amount I'll collect by 200 mil. So that way I can do Song of the Yells without actually having to spend a bunch of GP on smithing or having to do something else. Um, yeah, because I won't have a, a ton of money at the time. Unless RC makes me more money. Which uh, is possible. I'll do RC before Song of the Yells. I don't really know yet. I don't have... Uh, that much uh, planned yet, other than vague outlines of what I want to do, which I'll talk about uh, in a bit. But yeah, um, Brunei Gold, same old herbs. The Burnt Pages is just stacking up because, yeah, I just like to keep them. It's going to be worth a little bit of GP, I guess, after I um, finish off. Maybe buy a couple Bonds, and yeah, the Tree Seeds are stacking up very nicely, especially the U-seeds. I get so many U-seeds compared to anything else. Some of these are obviously from birdhouses, but you do get quite a lot of U's just from winter tot, especially at my farming level. The secondaries uh, for Herblore are stacking up quite a lot. And yeah, I, I don't even know how many I need for 99 Herblore, but um, yeah, it's possible I may have more than I need for 90-ish Herblore, which I think I was planning to get. Uh, I think I think, I think I still want to get that. I think I want to go for 90 Herblore and then see what I get from Slayer and then finish that off long-term on the road to max. But um, yeah, there's no harm in just keeping more, so I uh, keep collecting these in between Winter Talk games. Um, the herb seeds are stacking up too. These are some of the um, ones that don't fit in the seed box, so I keep them here. Uh, dwarf wheat is the uh, lowest one, I believe. And that's a good thing because it is the most annoying secondary to collect for. And uh, yeah, it's uh, nice that I won't have to worry too much about that. Um, I probably will... Well, I don't even know if I will go out of my way to get wines. I'll have to see... When the time comes. And so what I think is actually new here is uh, the Mahogany's Antiques. This is just uh, basically a fail safe. Not even fail safe, I don't think that's the right word. 
basically just an in case. Uh, I don't get enough construction XP from 200 mil to uh, finish off 99 construction. Uh, I can just use these and do mahogany homes pretty easily. Just unnote these and uh, the XP should be pretty good. And even if I don't finish 99 construction, I should be pretty close. So I think something like a couple hundred K off or whatever. And that's not too bad, obviously. And I'm definitely, uh, I've definitely collected way more than I actually need already, but I don't mind just, there's no point in just dropping it uh, compared to putting in the bag. So I may as well see the number stack up. But uh, I am, I, Looked, I looked at another recalculation in my week back when I was still tracking, and I think I might actually, I don't know, I think I might actually make it to 99. So obviously I'm 100 mil, which is pretty much halfway, and I'm very nearly 92 construction now. So I'm 46k off, 47k off. And uh, 92 is pretty much the halfway point of... Uh, skills, so yeah, I mean it's possible these things will line up But we'll see it's not a big deal either way, but just interesting to uh, plan out And I guess yeah, I've, I haven't shown the stats yet, but yeah 91 construction 93 fletching. I think crafting's gone up a level or two. I remember what it was uh, Also, you probably noticed by now the marks in the grace the marks of grace in the event. I don't think I was doing agility on the side uh, back when I made my 50 mil video, so yeah, all this is just from doing agility when uh, I'm not uh, not doing winter top basically, and I still want to play RuneScape. Lately, I haven't been doing much agility because I am just, you know, sitting at my PC logged out, uh, focusing on other things. Because yeah, I've just gotten to the point where I don't really like, I don't really like forcing myself to do R RS on the side of things when. RS is not the main thing I want to be doing. I want to have my attention focused on something. So I really just play RS when I want to chill out and listen to music or something. Maybe listen to a YouTube video. And that's why uh, this thing will, this skill will go up because sometimes I do like to run the roofs while listening to a video. But yeah, it's just, it's just not a immediate goal or anything. I'm not sure where this will end up by the time I finish 200 mil, but it could be very well into the 90s if I decide to do a bunch of it. Um, let's see what else. I think farming has gone up a level or two. Basically, the reason this goes up is because uh, every now and then I get a dragon fruit seed. I think, I don't know if Wintertop gives it to me, but birdhouses definitely occasionally give me Wintertop seeds and um, yeah, I don't have any bag space for that, and I don't want to miss out on the XP from that because it's actually quite a bit of XP. So uh, back when I had like 80 farming, I used a garden pie to boost and just plant it and would do that so I wouldn't waste the uh, waste the seed. But now, just from doing that, I've gotten the level for it to plant it without, I think it's 81 that you need to plant it without um, without boosting, so I've gotten that. And yeah, 82 is just uh, from continually doing that, because every now and then I'll get a spirit seed from birdhouses, and when you get a spirit seed, you can turn it into the farming guild uh, master, I think the name is Jane or whatever, and you'll get a max tier seed pack, and that will sometimes give you really good tree seeds, like, uh, I think I got like three dragon fruit tree seeds uh, from one seed pack, which was uh, pretty insane, and uh, yeah, I did plant all of those. That's been uh, pretty nice. I also started doing Tears of Guthics. I think I actually need to do this week's Tears of Guthics. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but I figure I made as well. So I've gotten both Slayer and RC up to 40. I think Slayer was lower first, but then it got to 40, then RC was lower at like 39. So next time I did, uh, or last time I did Tears of Guthix, it went up to 40. And yeah, this is just basically, you know, may as well do it, so. Uh, I don't really expect uh, anything 
too big to change there. Um, so yeah, flushing at 93. Flushing will obviously be done way before uh, construction. Going to be going quite into the post 99s, I think. I don't know how much, but probably by a couple mil or so. I think that's about it for skills. Nothing else. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, Hunter has hit uh, 80, which is a nice milestone. Looks very nice on the uh, stats page. And it's also the level for five box traps, which is pretty cool. So now I can just start doing five box trap chins uh, whenever I actually want to do Hunter. So all of this is from birdhouses and, uh, you know, obviously the uh, museum minigame thing. And I think there's a quest you can do for Hunter, maybe a couple. So I, I think I've done those as well. But yeah, I haven't really trained Hunter properly, so it's pretty impressive that I've gotten this far just from birdhouses. And I just, you know, I just do birdhouse run in between uh, winter talk games. Also, this is the seed box. And uh, yeah, the Snapdragon seed stack is extremely uh, beefy. Um, it's the most common seed. I've said this before. It's the most common seed from winter tot. And yeah, going to be pretty cool to farm all those and make all those. Although I'm not really a PVMer. So I don't really have uh, much uh, anticipation in using all these. So, yeah, but it's going to be nice XP, and it does uh, make for a nice um, GE value. So if I want to do a price check of all of my stuff, it's uh, thirty-two mil just in Snapdragon seeds. Renards are also pretty good. Ten mil, eleven mil. Source tools I've also been collecting. I uh, hope to do make a bunch of super combats with these and use them for Slayer eventually. And yeah, I've just been uh, using these Hammerstone seeds for birdhouse runs, which I think I'll go do now, may as well, instead of just sitting here and talking. Also pretty late, which is why um, maybe I sound a bit different, but I'm just uh, trying not to be too loud. But yeah, I guess uh, that's pretty much it for the status of the account um, where I have been. I don't think I've changed up too much else in my playstyle. Like I said, I've been playing less and I'll probably just, you know, play here and there somewhat consistently, although I won't try it for anything, really. And uh, eventually I'll, you know, be 200 mil, which is going to be pretty cool. I guess the more interesting thing to talk about is uh, what will I do after 200 mil? I've been thinking about this a bit more recently. I haven't mapped out everything yet, but I think I want to basically run the ruse, uh, farm all my herb seeds while I do that. And then I want to, you know, after I farm all my herb seeds and turn them into actual noted herbs, I want to basically make the potions... Uh, Sort of as soon as possible. So I'm going to train Slayer for a little bit. Get it to 65. Which is the requirement for Desert Diary. And I need the Desert Hard Diary for uh, the Narda Potion Maker. To make the unfinished potions. Which is going to save me a lot of time. So it's very worth doing. And yeah, I'm just going to do that. And I guess make all the potions I can make pretty much. I also do need to do contracts and for contracts I would also want to be doing a spory so I want to get my combats up so while I'm running the ruse I'll probably be AFKing at uh, I don't know if I'm going to AFK at sand crabs or ammonites it depends which one I feel is easier in the past I've gone with uh, sand crabs on my group iron because it's just way less crowded but maybe it's died down now I don't know uh, but it's, yeah, ammonites were just very annoying because the spots really sucked. Whereas sand crabs, I could find a four sand crab spot pretty much always. Um, also, yeah, so while I get that up for Hespori and other quests, I'll, you know, be working on other requirements. Uh, like I think I need to do the new... Well, now it's not so new, but it's the newest uh, Making Friends with My Arm quest. 
uh, for the new patch, and I'll probably also do some favor for... Actually, not the favor, because I think already... Yeah, I can already use the Ossidious patch. But I'll try to unlock another... Anything else that will boost uh, my herb farming. So, like, uh, Kandarian Medium might be on the table. Because it does offer increased yield from the uh, the Kandarian patch. Or the Sears... What is it? Catherby patch. And uh, the requirements aren't too bad. But the hard one is... Uh, yeah, it's 70 prayer, 70 fence, king's ransom. 70 prayer is not something I want to go out of my way to grind, so I think I'll just be leaving that. And yeah, so after that, after I get to use up all my herbs and probably be doing contracts at some point, you know, probably after I finish farming the herbs, or maybe, um, I don't know, actually, maybe, maybe while I'm running ruse, I don't know. Um, I do also want to do uh, thieving. I'm not sure when, but I want to do thieving with crafting. Probably a bit early on. And, uh, well, my plan is basically just to farm seaweed while I'm running roofs and then uh, mine a bunch of sandstone, all the sandstone I need for 99 crafting. So once I have all the seaweed and sandstone, um, or buckets of sand, I guess, I'll be, uh, trying out this, uh, sort of niche method where you do artifacts on Zaya, which is a thieving method that I never heard about until I actually like saw it in a methods discord. But you can do that. It's a pretty simple method where you just do a lot of running around and because of that you can blow glass during it. And so I think I want to do that for, you know, some multi-skilling with, uh, you know, thieving and crafting. And I think I just want to try that mainly because I don't really I, I don't dislike blackjacking like most people do but I've you know just done blackjacking pretty recently to like 91 92 on my group and this sounds a lot more chill so I like the idea of it and I want to give it a try um, but yeah so I'm going to be setting up for that and that's probably how I'll do crafting and thieving I forget the ratio of thieving to crafting but if I finish thieving like uh, first, then I'll just, you know, blow the glass while bank standing. But if I, um, finish crafting first, I guess I will finish off thieving through either master farmers during contracts or, uh, blackjacking. Or maybe something else, I don't know, maybe there's some other method I'll prefer. But yeah, I will probably need to do that before I do contracts. The... Thieving for Master Farmers is really going to help. And eventually, you know, my seeds are going to run out for doing contracts. Although I, I do have quite the collection of um, some tree seeds. The reason I'm keeping maples and uh, using magic is not just for the XP, but also just for the fact that they come up in contracts a lot. And I don't want to, you know, miss taking advantage of that. So yeah, that's kind of... The very initial plans, I need to sort of figure out the order on that, but that's basically what I want to do. Um, and then I want to jump into RuneCraft, grind that straight to 99. Um, I think, well, I will definitely be doing the RC mini game at least to 77 and with at least to get the full outfit because the outfit's very powerful. So a 60% increase in rune yield, although no XP increase. And uh, yeah, I might be doing some bloods definitely for when I'm AFKing hard. And I'll probably be doing maybe doing maybe do minigame elsewhere. I'm not sure. Uh, and also this will affect crafting a little bit because you do get crafting XP from either the minigame or Zaya. And I think you can actually get quite a lot of uh, crafting XP from Zaya. So I will have to... Uh, you know, factor that in, and maybe I won't do crafting straight to 99 before before that. Maybe uh, this thieving and crafting method, I'll wait until um, I've done rune crafting. But after I've done rune crafting to 99, I'll have free reign to do Slayer because I can just make Wrath runes, and I'll probably just do Slayer to 99, is my thinking. 
And then after that, I can pretty much do the other skills in whatever order I really want. Um, obviously, flushing and construction will be long done. Hunter, I will probably just uh, hunt all the red chins I need to get 99 range. And I think you get 99 range before the ratio is higher for range than Hunter. And yeah, I'll just finish it off with the red chins, most likely. Um, cooking is Karambuan method. You basically buy raw Karambuans and use an alt to light a fire. Just cook them. Uh, one tick. It's pretty fast. It's like 200, 300k XP an hour. Uh, fishing is going to be barbarian fishing. And uh, mining is going to be four tick granite. Should be pretty fun. I've never done or to granite for very long at all. Uh, smithing will be Blast Furnace Gold. I should have plenty of money to do gold the whole way because I'm not going to be spending any money on uh, on construction or fletching. And the new RC mini game looks like uh, it's going to be quite profitable. Also in the sense that the outfit gives 60% 60 60 more blood runes, so that's just going to be more runes that I can sell or save on by using through Slayer. Um, prayers is going to be 99 through Slayer, and combats will be, of course, through Slayer or AF King. Agility is, um, yeah, just running Ruse. I'll get that pretty easily, I'm sure. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be my max journey, I think. Um, so yeah, I do have plans to max. That's pretty much going to be my main goal after fire making. And yeah, that's uh, going to take however long it takes. Like I said, no no rush to play. But yeah, it's going to be a while still, um, till 200 mil. Don't know how long. I had an estimate of like, I think August or, Gen or July this year, but that might be uh, pushed even further. So we'll just see. Yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Um, Hope you enjoyed listening if you did, and uh, see you in the next one.